Welcome back to the Marketing Ninja Podcast with Manuel Suarez, CEO of Attention Grabbing Media and author of number one bestseller, Marketing Magic. Something that I realized over the years, I'm already 43 years old at the time of this recording in the, in the year 2024, but I realized this, the reason why I did not really like school, the reason why I did not want to study, the reason why I actually never read a book in school that I was assigned to, but somehow, miraculously, I ended up graduating high school without ever skipping a year. The reason why I was able to graduate without having to skip years is because I had an ability to communicate. I was able to be liked by people and I was able to somehow get exceptions and workarounds and solutions to have people allow me to keep going. That's the reality. But just going back to the reason why I did not really like the school is because I didn't really have a passion. Once I discovered a passion, I became a master at learning. Case in point, I'm a tennis player. I played tennis since I was five years old. I had a passion for it. Even though I was terrible at school, I was one of the best players in my entire island of Puerto Rico. I even traveled worldwide and I became a really good tennis player. I obsessed over learning and mastering the sport while at the same time, I could not do anything correctly at school. I could not really succeed in no way. What is the difference here? I had a passion for tennis. I had a complete dislike for what I was trying to learn at school. I could not comprehend how that was going to help me succeed in life. Yes, there are some important mathematic basics. There's some important things that you learn, science and so on, but I hadn't really comprehended that that was something that was gonna be valuable to me in life. And because of that, I didn't, didn't really care and I didn't study. I just had a lot of fun. I did a lot of partying at school. And I got engaged with other things that we're not gonna talk about. The main difference here between my tennis career and my school career was the passion for the subject. Just like right now, the main difference between my ability to conquer the business game at a very high level and have a seat at the board of some of the brightest business people on this planet and compared to my school years is that I have a passion for this game. I have a passion for marketing. That has led me towards an obsession and a very strong thirst for knowledge. And this knowledge makes me indestructible because knowledge drives success. Of course, if you don't have a passion and you accumulate knowledge, there's also not gonna be enough execution of that knowledge. So that has to be a part of your life without fail. Why am I telling you all this? because in order for you to achieve success outside the system, you must have already found a passion. Of course, the process might take some time to try to figure out what is that thing that you like to do? What is that service that you like to deliver? What is that business or product that you like to build before you actually go and dive deeper into it? Or maybe you have a passion for serving people in businesses and being an employee. It doesn't matter what that is, but you must find that passion because it's going to open up the door to this first for knowledge that you need that's going to be necessary for you to build a foundation to succeed in the game of life and business. As of today, in the year 2024, I have a couple of mentors that I learn from consistently. Those mentors have become partners of mine, whether through my agency or through other businesses that we're building together. One of those mentors is Tom Cummins. Tom Cummins is the founder of a $350 million a year energy company. And he's a partner at Attention Grabbing Media and a partner of mine in other ventures. Another one of my mentors is Brandon Dawson. Brandon Dawson is the co-founder of Cardone Ventures. He's a client of Attention Grabbing Media and has become a very close friend of mine over the years. I learn from these two giants every single day, consistently through their content, through managing their own marketing, through connecting with them at a high level, from being around them as much as I humanly can. Which by the way, you need to audit your environment and find out the people that are around you. Are they at your level? Are they above your level? Are they below your level? 
If you look at your environment and all you see is people at or below your level, you need to look for other people to add in that environment. Because the ones that are going to drive you up are people that are above your level. You want to go and connect with them, give them your power, give them your energy, and help them as much as possible accomplish their own goals. And by doing so, you will inevitably get better and better every step of the way. So find those people around you that you can actually become a part of their lives. They have accomplished more than you have, which means that they know possibly more than what you already know and join forces with them. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.